What's going on guys? Afflicted Gamer here back with another division video. So as you can see I have the Hilder and Ear equipped. I figure I would show you guys some PvP gameplay of it. I've got it paired up with the Strikers Battle Gear, Barrett's Bulletproof Vest, and a specialized backpack. Obviously the DPS could go up a little bit, but on my gloves I have assault rifle damage, SMG damage, and crit hit chance. I could get rid of assault rifle damage for crit hit damage. But honestly, I just wanted to leave them as be. Give this a test as, as it is. It was fine. I could also swap them out for Savage Gloves. But honestly, I, I was pretty happy with the setup. I didn't want to switch out Barrett's or actually the Specialized Backpack because the extra skill power that you get from it is very, very helpful. Moving on though. Anyone that doesn't know what the set bonus of Hilder and Ear are, each hit with Hilder increases critical hit damage by 1% to a max of 30%. The bonus decreases by 1 every second. This bonus only applies to ear, meaning that, and you can actually see it on your screen, every time you get a critical hit with Hilder, you will see a little bar fill up like right now. It's up to 29, 30, 27, so on and so forth. It goes down by 1 every second. Once you have that stack built up, you have to switch to ear and you will get all of your set bonus from that weapon and it will hit a lot harder. And the reason why I paired it up with Striker's Battle Gear is because these SMGs are very, very easy to handle. They are quite accurate. And you know what, if you're going to get a stack from the guns, you might as well get the stack from the gear set because they're both doing the same thing. You get the stack by landing your shots with one weapon, and you might as well get the stack from the gear set as well. You could obviously pair this up with the defense set, but this was just my choice and my first experiment with this in PvP. Now, the one thing I will say is that if you go up against anybody with, you know, a lightweight M4, level C, or any form of LMG, and they are from a distance, you will get outgunned. Times like this where somebody's sleeping, well, I thought that was kind of funny, I just had to take them out. Other instances though, if you do want to try to challenge somebody that is at a bit of a distance, if you see any NPCs in the way before you're about to come up to a player, take them out with Hilder. That will not only stack up the bonus from the Twin Valkyries, but it will also stack up your Striker. Then you can run up to the player or get as close as possible, switch to ear, and you will have your set bonus doing a lot more damage against your target. So I figured in this gameplay I would show you how well I did on my first try with it, going up against shotgunners, assault rifles, the urban MDR, which again is extremely powerful at long distances and even at close range, especially if somebody can land those headshots, but even then I was able to take them down. There was actually a lot of LMGs in this gameplay as well. So you know what, I was glad that there was a variety of weapons in the game to go up against. I hope that honestly massive gives us more of these exotic weapon talents because they are a lot of fun and I gotta say this is by far one of my my favorite and one of the most enjoyable for an SMG that only has three attachment slots believe it or not they do quite a bit of damage and for anybody that is curious the roles that I have on the Hilder and on the ear are almost identical one of them has deadly unforgiving and brutal and the other one has brutal unforgiving and meticulous so either way no matter which one I'm shooting with I've got pretty good rolls on both and both of them do a nice amount of damage like I said I could swap out the gloves and have that extra crit hit damage on them instead of assault rifle damage which means that will hit even harder but I would say for the way that I've got it set up now they still did a pretty good job now here comes the guy actually with the urban MDR like I was talking about a second ago and he is up close to personal we all know how hard that gun hits but still he manages to go down Hilder and Ear are nothing to shy away from and I have to say if you have them definitely try them definitely take them into PvP try to stay away from the meta of assault rifles and yeah like right there I will get downed if there's a bunch of people shooting at me with 
you know, uh, level OCs and the lightweight M4s that are basically everywhere in the game, but still, these are a lot of fun. This guy here, he tries to run away from me and I chase him all through this building and uh, this was a pretty fun battle because he goes everywhere, zigzags left, right and center. But as again, you can see in the bottom of the screen, not only is my striker starting to build up, that's dying down a little bit and I have a bit of the Hilder stack built up so I've swapped out to ear right now and I get to take him down. Even if you don't have the full 30%, still go ahead and pull out the ear if you're in roughly, I would say, the 20s. Even if you're up around 20. And I do find that even though it says that the damage is reduced by 1 every second, it does seem to go down a lot slower than the set bonus from Strikers. So, you know what? It's a, it's a very, very nice pairing and very accurate, very good damage, very well put together. That's my overall opinion on it. So, anyways, guys, I am going to leave you with the rest of the gameplay from this. I would love to know your thoughts and comments below about Hilder and Ear. Do you have them? Do you use them? What talents did you get? Do you prefer them over assault rifles? Obviously, SMGs have made somewhat of a comeback in 1.6, which is nice. You know, and I hope that it continues to grow where we see a lot of different weapons being used in the division. On top of that, don't forget guys, you can also follow me on Twitter at AfflictedGamer. Ask me anything you like and you will also be notifi get, uh, notified about the stream times here on YouTube. And now also again on Twitch TV slash AfflictedGamerX. I've got that back up and running as well. So there are multiple ways to get a hold of me. I do play both on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so if anybody needs help or wants to run Last Stand, Survival, so on and so forth, by all means let me know. I was asked uh, actually on Sunday, so guys, yes, I've accepted those requests and I will hop on there ASAP. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, leave your thoughts and comments down below, and I will see you guys soon in the next one. Two minutes to turn it around.